Okay, so I know I'm a little late this morning. And, uh, and then I've got my laptop over there. I'm going to be doing a bunch of things to get some educating and painting in. Can you hear me? Can you? Oh, yeah. Wow, well, that just gives you fucking massive feedback. Well, so. Long weekend. We had an event this weekend that we watched online for Dallas. And yes, I may not have advertised this very well this morning, but I do it bi weekly. My link's out there for people. Whether or not anybody shows up besides myself is beside the point. Boom, boom. Oh, like this. Minimize that one. Enlarge Spotify. Come on. Minimize. Okay, I can't minimize, but I can shrink the fuck down. Oh, can't minimize them when I'm recording. Fucking mean I can't minimize them while I'm recording. There we go. This machine's gone. Thank you. 
frame. Orange. I need to replace my orange. Yellow is neon. Green is metallic today. Uh, blue. Darker. Today. Purple. White and clear. So, okay. White. It's morning. It's my first cup of coffee, guys. Like I said before, great night. Honor off the rear of the recycle and repurpose artist cooperative. I draw music from a playlist called Deep Study on Spotify, and I get my colors all on the palette, and my visualization technique is compounded over months of doing this. Every color has a corresponding physical exercise, a vibration and feel, and then every color now has a number too. And today I'm painting my numbers. So that's what's next. Black. No, that is neutral. Positive growth placement. So. Act, number one, depending on how well you're formed with your neutrality, black is also number zero. Nothing different grounded. Only because zero is a representational placeholder does black ever be zero. Then go red and red. I will say it's number two. Uh, with my exercise, the Red chakra is my second one. It is originally the grounding one, but I connected to the darkness to help with growth. You can be grounded all day long, but if you have nothing to grow from, being grounded ain't that helpful. And so, of course, because my initial report is gay. Make sure that signature on here is red.
because of after red, you get orange. My orange is a little weak and watery because I need to replace it, but orange is number three. And the third exercise is right flank. And if you do the right flank game, you visualize yourself energetically in the body and in the mind. Positively vibrating with the color orange. You vibrate and allow the color orange and the planking exercise visualization. You associate the number three. Because three physical aspects of Seeing it, physically doing it, and then energetically you add the sound and you hear it by adding the number. And then three, four, four is our yellow, and five. I don't have much on yellow. I'm using neon. And the yellow four representing the angle center and the balancing point. Positivity, joy, and abundance. Left planking strengthens your core, adding the number gives you powerful thinking tools to connect your visual and a sound and the physical exercise as well as your side planking. You said the number four, see yourself energetically balancing. Good job, Marcus. Oh, man. Commercial time. This chakra is your heart chakra, the color green, your center, balance of hand, energy, put your hand over your heart, bump it a little bit. Number five, and color green. Add a little tavern so that you can see the colors in each of the colors. Corresponding exercise for the color green is push ups. Well, even as I say that and look at the number and the color green and the number five, I can visualize myself doing push ups. Because the chakras and the colors are all intertwined, each time I do the exercises, I try to do a even corresponding number according to the colors that I use for chakras. So, in this example, because I'm using green, I would actually end up with doing five push-ups for each color, making it a total of 50 push-ups for the color green. That's it. Now, 50 push-ups for the color green. And we go to blue next, your throat chakra. The number six and the reversal of understanding blue is the color six. <laughs> the color is number six. The exercise 
for the six trash rush. His horse and which if you're familiar with martial arts means that it is actually a sound in the physical posture at the same time. Roughly standing in one spot, energetically aligned with the color blue, it vibrates, it's grounded, it makes anything you can out of it. You get yourself color blue. Now, every now and then you gotta do paint. Well, the entire idea is that this is art. Art and life, life and art. Then we move on to the color purple. For the number seven. Seven a source number, a prime number. The original number of chakra colors in the rainbow combination. Color purple in this instance represents the third eye chakra. The ability to see and know things that you haven't seen or known before. So, when I go about it that way, the color seven, the number purple, and the exercise is a visual representation of myself jumping around in a purple energy body. So with that, we give each one of these a shot. You get a little purple. Then, oh, my favorite color. And the reordering of the chakras, from my perspective, for personal benefit, is the number eight, the infinity loop, used the low source energy with the pink chakra for infinite connection to and from your body's innate abilities to heal itself. Pink is the exercise jumping jacks. As in Michelangelo's Venn diagram, and jumping jacks actually activate all of the body's chakra, energy pathways, and or meridians. And number eight, energetically holds space for everyone. You know, because well, Zero's jealous of eight because eight has bell perspective. Sometimes it's a funny thing. So, yeah, and I'm just painting away here. I will use my other camera to give you a show of the numbers here. Yeah. Oh, it is a great pleasure to be here painting and meditating in this way. A little bit of energetic shifting to get the number eight inlaid here in the background. As after eight and the pink chakra, we move on to the meditative chakra and the light color.
Boom. Okay, all right, we're quick now. Okay. Uh, so it is. And meditating. And by meditating, you can literally meditate with your eyes open. As long as you use your mind, right? And of course, I use the music to help just with the meditative state and the creative process. And of course, before I even started today, I was energetically prepared to paint numbers anyway, because I understand that the numbers are a significant sound representation of vibrations, the paradigm is all unknown. So we get to the next chakra, which is the color white. I use it for all meditative purposes. And my white energy meditates and spins all of the other colors around. The number for the white energy body is nine. Returning back to the beginning. A sturdiness and a roundedness that most people won't understand. And of course, because it's the white energy right? the white chakra, and all these are the little spots. Make sure that you understand that how you approach what you do it doesn't have to be the same way I do it. You can reorder your colors, your exercises, your numbers to suit you best. I work on compounding process throughout and making a deep connection. And then that, last but not least, the source energy clear connection to the universe. Breathe in deep, exhale deep, and know that it can't. You can represent color, the color clear on the page, but the purpose behind doing black as one and zero is it covers the clear as well. So that is the conclusion of all 10 colors. Now I'm going back around and adding some more color and energy spots to my painting. Today is 329. Make sure I keep the painting. Okay. Hmm. So when you get good at this visualization practice, you will note that you can put every color vibrationally on a number, in balance, out of balance. There's all kinds of possibilities with the colors and how you work your practice. It's very spiritual in its own efforts. And as you build upon the practice, you will find it will expand. And of course, I know I'm not talking about all the time. Make sure that 
sure the colors get on. And color fitting in. Add a dot, add a dot. And of course, when you have your group five leaves practice, because every time you see a color, you can picture yourself exercising in that color. Or every time you see the number, you can picture the exercises in that color. The more you expand the practice, the easier it becomes. So, I'm now yellow to green. Oh, green dot. Quality time in with the girlfriend today. Uh, 